Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to um, model this and something like this. Okay, so um, let's start first. Um, let's create a project and um, to if if you want to to create the shape like uh, a floor or a roof like this shape, so um, you actually you can um, use the roof or floor tool so uh, let me show you so if you create a floor oh sorry a roof um, for example this okay so I'll just uh, create so some for example this and you just need to che uncheck the divide uh, define slope and use the slope arrow okay so you can use the slope arrow so you um so let's just try okay so maybe the here to um i'm not sure uh maybe let's try from this end to this end so i want to see if it works yep it works so now to uh i'm going to show you how to adjust the height Okay, so currently this the height of the roof is start from level one. Okay, so start from level one. So if you edit footprint, select this uh, um, uh, what's this a slope arrow. If you select this slope slope arrow, so there are some options for you to choose. So first. So you can use slope if you want to. So you can change this to slope, and then so for example, you change uh, uh, five degree, and so this roof will you know start from this level one five degree. Okay, and if you um, if you you have some specific height, so for example, currently this roof is starting from uh, four meter, I think. So if I move, try to see here. So this is four meter here, right? And if you instead of have a, a slope, uh, you want to have a specific height at this point, so you can use the other option. Okay. So for example, I want this point to be six meter high. So we can go edit for print select this uh, slope uh, arrow so here so if if we use so here so we need to change this to height at tail okay so although it's it says um, height at tail you can actually set both height at both uh, tail and the head so you see level at tail level at head so what we're going to do is level at um, tail I want this point to be four meter so I can just use default because default is level one so all good default with zero offset good and then this point so you have option to default which is four meter plus two meter okay or you can also directly pick the level and two meter so which is six meter from ground floor or you can use ground floor with six meter so they are all the same so finish and then you have four meter and six meter okay so this is uh, the first um, option so we can use so I'll just quickly do a floor as well so you we can let's just try a different shape okay so and finish oh sorry forgot edit boundary slopes uh, arrow pick here here and maybe change, uh, use a slope finish now that's it of course you can change this to a thick and then that's it okay so floor and roof so these are the first um, options to do this and because um, because in here we we have a roof and also floor and also these um, walls curtain walls so actually we can use um, we can use uh, different um, 
different um, ways to model it. We can use uh, both either, um, sorry, we can use math or even generic model. Okay, so let me show you. So first I'm going to just um, go to elevation. So first I want to just draw a reference plan and I'll name it reference plan one. I'll draw another reference plan and I'll name it reference plan two. Okay, so now let's go to 3D view. So now go create a model in place. I'm going to use generic model. And okay, so first I want to create an extrusion on reference uh, reference plan one. So click on set uh, work plan and pick the reference plan one. Okay, and then we can create extrusion. Uh, let's just use circle. I'll just roughly draw it here. Okay, something like this and finish. And so for this one, we need to increase the thickness to uh, to because we want to have a roof. A floor, maybe a curtain wall. So, so it'll be something like this. And of course, of course, if you want to, um, uh, uh, you can uh, create a, a void. So let's go to the ground floor. So I'm going to just create a void extrusion, something like this. Finish. Go to 3D view, and we can just make it increase the thickness to cut so something like this okay so now we, we can just uh, finish finish this now we have this generic model we can create wall and so for example roof so you can use roof by face finish and that's a roof let me change it to shade sd um, yeah that's that's it and then these uh, Floor, I think uh, you won't um, probably for the floor. We can just pick line, okay? So we can pick line and pick line, pick line, pick line, pick line. Finish. Okay, so that's the floor. Oh, sorry, <laughs> level one. Yeah, that's fine. Just let's pretend that's a floor level. So I'll change this to the level one. So that's floor there, and then for those curtain wall so we're going to use curtain system okay so pick this face and also pick this face as well and click uh, click here so now i'm going to h h the um, general model and then select this curtain system and we can adjust the curtain panel so for example um looks like this is grid one because it's wider so i'm just going to make this very very uh high so yeah something like that so you can also interior 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 mullions so let me just uh, give them some mullions and border so i'll just control c control v control v control v control v apply okay so that's it so this is how you create this okay so um yep so now let me type hr select this generic model edit in place let's go back to south elevation so previous oh I, we don't need to come here let's go back to 3d view so we can just create something um, another uh, general model so let's quickly do it extrusion set or plan pick this time pick uh, the reference plan too okay so um, then just I'll just roughly roughly draw another shape okay so maybe uh, um, yeah I think that should be okay finish it and increase the thickness okay so um maybe let me uh we need a, another void so go to floor plan create void extrusion so create a extrusion finish go to 3d view select this void drag this down 
so, so it cut this. Um, actually, maybe uh, I will, maybe let let's 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 cut a little bit more. Okay, so here. Uh, yeah, all good. So now finish this uh, general model. Go back, create a roof. Oh, sorry, not this one. <laughs> Cancel okay, so this roof. Roof by face is create a roof. Floor. Floor. We need a pick line. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Finish. So that's a floor. Uh, I'll change this to level one as well. And then curtain system here. So architecture, curtain system, pick face, pick face, create a curtain system. And that's it. So uh, for this one, maybe um, let me adjust this a little bit. So instead of fixed distance, maybe we can change this to maximum spacing. So the grid will go to the middle. OK. Yeah, so that's it. Um, now we can just, uh, once we finish everything, we can hide. So let me just E, H. So let's hide the, gen uh, the uh, general model. So now we have everything here. OK, so let me just go close this one, W, T. So let me show the 3D view here and show the um, show the elevation here. So if you want to change anything, so you can, so for example, if you want to move anything, so just move the reference plan. Okay, so for example, if MV, move it up. So you will see that in the model, the general model goes up as well. And then you just need to go select the um, the roof, the, the curtain system, uh, not this floor because the floor is not linked to the general model. So curtain system and the roof, and you can update. Okay, it will automatically uh, up, uh, update to match the general model. So uh, of course, floor, you need to manually adjust it, but currently uh, still the same level, but you probably just need to adjust the sketch to match the here, but I think that's easy enough, All right? So once again, so you can also, so for example, you want to change the angle of this, so you can select, instead of select them all the model, select this reference plan and let's try, okay? So ro rotate this by, for example, five degrees. And then you can see the generic model changed, okay? And then we just need to come select this um, curtain system and this roof update and that's it all done um yeah that's it um it's uh yeah floor you probably need to just uh, edit boundary and pick the generic model again so it's the generic model is hidden so let's just bring it back where is it here Unhide and floor edit boundary and let's just delete everything and then go um, where is it here I think uh, let me just type WF uh, it's a little bit hard to see I think this one this one and this try to tab 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 Oh, here, yeah. tab, 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 tab. Yeah, that's the one. Once again, tab, 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 that's the one. So finish, and then we have a new floor. So let's change to shade SD. So a new floor, match, match everything we have. Okay, so that's it. Um, if, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.